Good afternoon. Uh, the problem that I'm going to be trying to tackle and sort of attract your attention is about uh, a guidance for spinal taps, that is, any kind of intrathecal access. Right now, there are about 400,000 spinal taps reported per year done for Medicare data by neurologists only. Uh, more appropriate estimates of about current total numbers of spinal taps in this country is about 1 million. Now, these spinal taps are done blindly at the bedside without any guidance, and the failure rate, at least at Mayo Clinic, is greater than 50 to 60 percent. And they all subsequently come down to radiology to be done under X-ray guidance, which is quite expensive, adds about four to five hundred dollars of cost, it increases patients' radiation exposure, causes delays in diagnosis, and it is very disruptive to the workflow of the radiology department. Nobody likes them to be done in radiology. So we are proposing a technology using electronic guidance uh, to, uh, to provide guidance at the bedside and in the outpatient clinics, which won't require any kind of imaging. So the idea is to use uh, changes in impedance as the needle advances in the tissue by means of a, I'm sorry, I need to go back, by means of a patch electrode. So what we need to do is we need to complete a circuit by using a patch electrode somewhere in the neck and using the advantage of cerebrospinal fluid as a highly conducting medium in contrast to the soft tissues, which are poorly conducting. So once the needle is heading in the right direction towards the thecal sac, there will be a steady drop in impedance impedance and there will be a precipitous drop in impedance once the needle hits the thecal sac. And that will be a clear indicator uh, by means of a display system which could use LEDs to indicate to the physician that the needle is heading in the right direction, has now entered the thecal sac. So uh, it's going to be a small st sterile disposable device that will use a standard LP needle kit and a small compact device uh, using, the, uh, using the current technology can be easily built at a cost of about $5 to $10 and could be sold between $25 to $30 either as a standalone device or inside an LP kit. And even if it, at 20% acceptance, uh, we are talking about about 200,000 to 400,000 units sold annually in this country uh, for electronic guidance. So our team, which comprises of a neuroradiologists who do these procedures every day under x-ray, and a electrophysiologist, cardiac electrophysiologist, uh, has, also has the sufficient expertise to build a prototype and test it in animal models as well as in clinical patients. And that's pretty much all I have to tell you. I'm happy to ask you any questions. Well, I should go ahead and go first there. And then if we have time, we have other people. So do you have a sense of the any sort of rate of uh, sort of bad outcomes that come from this from improperly done procedures? Like, how, you know, what's really, what are you going to save by improving this procedure? So there are two things we say. One is that, that by allowing this to be done under guidance, we could actually allow the mid-levels to do this procedure and save the physician time. So this could be done in the clinics and at the bedside by, by people who have minimal training, who have no training, and it can also help their training uh, to, to, to understand what is the correct way to do a spinal tap by, by, by using some guidance. On the other hand, it'll save per patient about four to $500 when it is done under the X-ray guidance. So there are two things. One is that it'll, it'll minimize the discomfort to patients because, I mean, oftentimes there are five to six attempts made at the bedside with individual punctures Whereas with the guidance, we're hoping that it will be able to be done with one single puncture. And the, the additional advantage would be that there won't be any extra exposure. Uh, so uh, there are going to be uh, basically benefits, not only as an entrepreneur, but there are going to be considerable healthcare cost-saving benefits as well. So, so the cost savings is a specialist now who makes Six hundred thousand dollars a year is going to the work's going to get done by somebody making sixty thousand dollars a year is what I'm hearing. That is right? correct. Okay, so that's a huge savings. How many in a place like the Mayo Clinic? How many of those done on a daily basis? Uh, 
this procedure? And, uh, at Mayo, we do about, uh, I mean, as an institution, we do about uh, 12 to 15 a day. Okay, there you go. That's the number I want to know. I also look at it, $4 million for you to produce, $12 million in, pro in, in, in sales. That's about an $8 million differential. So there is pretty dramatic numbers here that I'm seeing. Right, right. and I think the, the, these procedures that really no physician wants to do because it is a, a gross underutilization of their expertise. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.